This is two factory cases of the brand new Pokemon stackable tints. Each one of these features a ton of really cool artwork, such as Scizor, Gengar, Espeon, and a ton more. Now, I haven't seen any of these opened up yet because they haven't even released them yet, but we're going to be getting an early look here right now in the Poke Cave. So, we're going to find out if these things are stacked with the pulls or if they're filled with absolutely nothing. And, really quickly, make sure you enter the giveaway for a chance to win one PokeRev pack. All you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, we have these stackable tins. These are in display cases, and this is actually a display of six of them. Right in the middle here, we got my boy, my favorite, the OG. We got Gengar, but it's actually filled with a ton of different Pokemon on all different sides of this thing. And then on the bottom there, it says stack them high because you can actually stack these things up. They lock in and you can use them to kind of like put stuff inside. Whatever you want. I don't know. PokeRev 4.0 packs are back in stock for a limited time. And as always, you'll have a shot to pull any pack as old as the original 1999 base all the way through to the most modern sets of Pokemon cards. Each PokeRev pack contains five Scarlet and Violet or Sword and Shield packs as well as one Mega Bonus pack, which should be the green tier red tier, silver tier, or the gold tier. We're also working really hard on the next generation of Pokerev packs, so stay tuned for another announcement later this year. As for now, if you'd like to grab Pokerev 4.0 packs, they are available down below in the first link in the description. But let's get started, let's cut this thing open, and let's see what packs that they actually give you inside of here, because as of now, I have no idea, because I haven't seen anybody open these up yet. I don't know what packs we're gonna get. Usually there's a release date on the outside of these factory cases, but this one just says Q1 2024 and it doesn't have like actually a, an actual date. I'm gonna guess like March 1st might be the release date, but I actually have no idea. So let's get it started here. Let's pop the top on this thing and let's see what packs we get inside of here. I guess we'll just, we'll kind of go in blind here. There's more than packs in here usually as well. So let's grab the first pack out and it's gonna be one Obsidian Flames pack. And let's just throw this back here for now because this thing is taking up the entire table. Um, but let's get it started here with our first booster pack. Is it going to be all Scarlet and Violet? Is it going to be some Sword and Shield? And what are the extra bonus items going to be in here? We're going to find out right now in our first stackable tin. We got Lapras, Masquerade, we got Lechonk, Froki. Ooh, into an Absolute EX. Nice, we actually got to pull in the first one. Going back in time to the Obsidian Flames release day. Now, they make these pretty big because I guess you could just put stuff in them and then stack them up, kind of stack them high. They want you to stack them up high. Um, This looks like maybe base set? Oh, no, it's another Obsidian Flames. Two Obsidian Flames in one of these? Really? What are they doing with Obsidian Flames? Just trying to get rid of these? We got Snubble. That's interesting. Okay. Um, And then we'll see, I guess, if that's going to be the same for all of these or if they're going to be any different at all. Gloom. We got a Toad Kiss on that one and then a Code Card. All right, Gengar. What else do we have? Our next item is a Scarlet and Violet base set booster pack. So those are the three that we got on our first stackable tin. It's going to be the two Obsidian Flames, one Scarlet and Violet base set. Very interesting. It seems like the Scarlet and Violet is officially taken over here. We're completely removing Sword and Shield stuff from like a lot of these products now as of these newer ones. But there should be some other items in here. Let's see if we can... Oh, okay, yeah. So let's... Oh, it's two sheets. Okay. So we're going to have... Uh, oh, is it going to be all four? Ooh, bro, give me the Gengar sticker. Let's go. Okay. All right. So you got all four of them with these actually pretty nice stickers here. We got Gengar. We got to rep my boy Gengar. All right. We got the Gengar. Let's just throw them all on at this point. Let's just let's just do all of these. Can I, can I even... Let's see. Can I get all these? Can I get all these on? We got Espeon, too. We got S. Oh, no. Ripping Espeon. We got Espeon going on. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We got the lineup. We got the squad. All right, but let's keep going. All right, let's do a different artwork design here. The next one, I'll show you all the Pokemon on here. And you can kind of check it out. It should be the same. So I guess the stickers, basically, you could pick it out depending on which, if you even care about the stickers at all. But you could pick it out depending on the stickers because there should be I'm gonna assume different ones for all three versions of these let's see what our second version has for us all right pop the top will our packs be any different will they be exactly the same let's see first pack out is gonna be an obsidian flames all right let's get it going here see if we get some Charizard action come on search get 
Froakie, Doug Trio. Ooh. All right. We got a Vroom. And then we have a Gita regular hollow. Not too bad with that illustration rare to get started. All right. Let's keep going, though. Next up, we're going to have another Obsidian Flames. All right. It's starting to look like this might be the lineup for all of these. Two Obsidian Flames and one Scarlet and Violet base set. All right. Here we go. Yep. Scarlet and Violet base in there. The stickers are upside down this time. Let's see what we get on this base set pack of um, Scarlet and Violet. Maybe get something half decent? And no, we don't, of course. And then let's check out our stickers. Oh, man. That Scizor looks pretty sick. Okay. Let's... Let's do it. Let's, oh, no. I'm ripping it. You know the stickers that are, like, so intricate with all the different... There we go. I don't want to rip it. All right. Going up here. We're just going to do them all. We're just going to do them all. We got the next sticker. Right here. We got the next... Oh, my God. Those are going to be all... Those are going to be three now? One. Two, three. Hey. All right, we're looking pretty good. Let's keep going. This is like a day in the life anyway. My kids always just throw stickers on me randomly, and I'm just like walking around with all these stickers. A lot of them are on my back, and I have no idea that I have them on until after. I'm just like, okay. All right. But now who's laughing? Now I'm the sticker man. All right. Let's keep going here. So we're going to assume... That every single one of these is going to have the same packs. But we're going to open them all up. We're going to check out all the stickers and everything like that. Uh, it's it's a cool little product to, to pick up. I don't know exactly like the retail price on these. But um, if you're looking for two Obsidian Flames and one Scarlet and Violet base set pack with some stickers and a stackable tin, this would be the product for you. I think this is the end of the new product releases for now that Pokemon's been releasing um i don't know if i have anything else coming in for for now anyway but let's get the rest of these stickers out we got some oh okay i like that they all have different designs and everything all right so oh didn't rip nice okay i'm just gonna fill my whole shirt up with these i'm getting used out of them okay we got two more i'm gonna <laughs> show my kids all these they're gonna be like well, what happened they're actually probably just gonna take rip them off of me and put them on themselves and right there. Okay. We got the full sticker lineup. Kind of glare. Oh, there we go. It's better. So those are all the stickers you can get if you want to see them all at once. Do you even care? Now we have the rest of these to open up to see if we can get some pulls. Um, that's the question. Can we get anything out of these stackable tints today? I don't know. All right. Let's check this out. So Obsidian Flames. Scarlet Violet base set. Um, let's go. Let's see what we got. Come on. Give me something. Ah. Scarlet and Violet. I feel like I feel like the main series sets, I don't, I just can't get pulls. The main series sets, but then like the special sets, I'll do pretty good because the pull rates are just better in general. 151, Paldean Fates, which I haven't forgot about. We got a Victini EX. We took a little break from our Paldean Fates binder because it's actually been driving me absolutely insane. Um, but I will get back on the grind because we still got to pull that Charizard. And I got to see if, if if we can fill that binder up. I don't know how long that's going to take to make that happen, though. And uh, the pull rate right now has been pretty low. We have not pulled much of anything, unfortunately. We got nothing. Oh, man. Scarlet and Violet just doesn't want to give me the pulls ever. I just feel like it's just not happening. Come on, let's stack these tins up at least. Let's get a nice stack going. See, see how high we can get these things. We got Poke Gear 3.0. Oh, another strikeout. All right, so we have six tins to stack up here. Let me get this. And let's see. Wow, I, I am. I only got two EXs and an illustration rare so far out of uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. 18, oh, almost 18 packs. Okay. We'll do these three. We'll stack our tins. And then we'll open up some, oh, there we go. Okay. We got the Pidgey and the Greedon EX. Best packs so far. Finally getting something. Finally. It's about time. All right, Mawow. We got Pidgey. All right, all right. The last tin's the good one. Pidgeot full art to go with our Pidgey. 
Just need a Pidgeotto over here. Scarlet and Violet base set. We're going to pull in. Nothing. I don't even know if you can see it, but we're six, we're six high. They don't really lock in. They kind of just like place on each other. Um, I don't know. 12 might knock over. Let, let's, let's keep going, though. But we have another case of these things. Um, should be the same packs, I would assume. But yeah, this is what it looks like when you open it up. So you have this case, and then you have like the top piece that you can put into to the uh, display. And then um, basically, you'll know, the other display pieces underneath of these, and then all the tins are just lined up in here. I'm gonna just pull the packs out of these, and um, we're gonna get it going. Did it? All right, 12 high, 12 high. It, it barely worked. It was fall at any moment honestly it might fall while I'm opening up these packs let's go <laughs> uh, here we go okay so these are the pack oh my god it's gonna go down that's the hundred percent feel like it's moving but here's the packs from the other display that we have here hopefully we can get better pulls on these uh, but yeah let me know if you guys are interested in these stackable tins um, it kind of just comes down to if you're into these sets or not really city and flames the scarlet and violet base set I feel like I got my um, I don't know my filling of these sets from opening them up um, so I'm kind of like good on Scarlet and Violet Base and Obsidian Flames. I kind of, I, I opened them enough basically, but there's throwing them in here. This is kind of what happens. Um, Pokemon will have like a bunch of leftover packs. Ooh, ooh, okay. Maybe there's still some cool cards for us to pull here. All right. We got another double banger. The Houndor is sick. But yeah, usually when they have like a lot of these different products, they're just trying to get rid of the rest of the packs that they have laying around. So you'll see a lot of different like sets that will continue to be uh, put into these sort of like products and um, you get like a good mix at least so it's not all the same set because like, you know, if they didn't have overstock of all these other sets, then every product that would come out would literally just be um, the newest set and you wouldn't be able to get like other sets from the generation and stuff like that. So um, they definitely allocate a lot of packs for these types of things, these special products and stuff like that. But yeah, this is just a little taste of these stackable tins. Um, you know, they've only done these probably... Got Belly Bolt, though. Uh, they've probably done these stackable tin things maybe like three different times, possibly four different times. I think this is the third time they've done them, I want to say. Um, so they're not like a super like old school type of product. They came out with these, I want to say, maybe even the beginning of last year. Uh, but it has they haven't been around that long. But it's cool. You know what I mean? We get a lot of um, different types of products for... Oh, hold on a second. Is that a Terraform? Tyranitar tar, Terraform. All right. Let's keep going. We've got a handful of packs remaining here for this stackable tin opening that... Wow. So it's still, it's still standing. The tower of stackable tin is still standing. All right. Come on. Search skit. Let's get something decent here. Um. Oh. Another... <laughs> Terraforms, I just keep pulling non-stop. Okay. Okay. Obsidian Flames. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, Pidgeot EX. All right, here we go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. What is happening? I see something sticking out of there. What is it? Oh, it's a Magnezone EX. And then a code card. Tons of different little uh, EX cards being pulled today. Honestly... How many EX, just regular EXs have I pulled today? It's kind of a lot. Like seven, I think I count it. Seven different regular EXs today. All right, come on. Let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. As always, guys, let me know what you want to see opened up here. I think this might be the end of the new product releases for now. But as always, there's always new products being released here. But um, yeah, well, actually, we have the new set coming pretty soon. Actually, not too long. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting close. And the last pack is going to be a regular hollow. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.